Can you see this? Da -da 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 -da. Look at this. See? Da -da 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 -da. Doing, 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 doing. Hi, this is Cooking Appa. Today I'm going to braise some pork leg. Yeah, and I will add one special ingredient later. I will show, show you. Uh, first of all, um, I have approximately this is one kg of uh, pork leg plus uh, another 250, 250 grams of uh, pork belly. Okay, it's a mixture. Uh, then we have I'm going to add in some uh, eggs as well. Yeah, we have some eggs here. And so what do we use to make the braised broth? Not difficult here. Let me show you, focus. Yep. Few pieces of uh, old ginger, some fresh coriander roots. This is some uh, few cloves of uh, garlic mince. You can also add in some uh, shallot as well. I'm not sure if you can see insects flying over. <laughs> Appa just moved on into a landed house and the first and foremost biggest problem, my biggest challenge is dealing with the insects flying through in front of my camera. <laughs> okay, um, then we have some cinnamon stick, bay leaf and two pieces of uh, star anise. This is 13 spice powder, you can also use 5 spice powder. Of course, Appa will be adding my cooking Appa chicken stock powder as well, where you can get it from Shopee Malaysia or Singapore. And this is something that I'm going to add today, something special, which is the red fermented bean curd. It will give it some umami flavor. So one of the most important thing to prep the pork is after you wash it, you need to blanch it. Um, I will show you shortly how you blanch it, but it is very important. Um, for, it is going to remove at least 80% of the gaminess from the pork. So let's prepare a wok, give it a little bit, two to three tablespoons of uh, oil to start with and heat it up. One of the reasons why I seldom use standard steel wok today is not because of anything but because of the lighting. Look at the reflection, the light reflection. Something I can't really get rid of it. So that's why I choose to use uh, the non-stick more often today. Lah. That's one of the main reasons. But today, Appa feels like using standard steel wok to get my dolphin wok, a dolphin wok, long time never used. So after you heat up the oil, we will put in the ginger, garlic and also fresh coriander. So after it started to brown, I'm going to put in the star anise bay leaf and also cinnamon stick followed by some saucing wine we are going to make the braised broth saucing wine not enough I'll open another bottle so let's put in about one small bowl of saucing wine be generous with it Wow, super fragrant. I can smell it right now. Beautiful rice flavor. Mm -hmm. Next thing, I'm going to add in some hot water. Of course, I'm going to turn the water into chicken stock by adding my cooking up chicken stock powder, about one teaspoon. I'm going to give it some about one teaspoon of uh, 13 spice powder as well. This is, I call it the brother, the big brother of five spice powder. And like I mentioned earlier, today I'm going to add in something a bit unique, which is fermented bean curd. This is the red color one. You can use the white color one as well. Spicy one also no problem. It will give it some umami flavor, yeah? Braise, you need light soya sauce. Okay, approximately uh, four or five tablespoons to start with. And we need some dark soya sauce as well for the color. 
approximately two tablespoons to start with. You have to control your dark soy sauce. If not, it can make your braised broth become bitter. If you put too much, you have to be careful with your dark soy sauce. You still can add it towards uh, right before serving, adjust it, no problem, but don't add too much at the beginning. Wow! I can see, I can see the fermented tofu. Fu yu ya. Wow, super fragrant. I wish you can smell this. All right, so basically our... Oh, one more thing I ha haven't added, which is sugar. You can use white sugar, brown sugar, or rock sugar. I can't find my rock sugar today. So I'm putting in white sugar first, approximately two tables, one to two tablespoons. Right, our braised broth is ready. I'm going to... Um, put my braised, uh, the pork leg together with the braised ball into uh, my pressure cooker. If you are not using a pressure cooker, then uh, you can use a normal pot, bring it to a boil, and uh, slow it down, reduce the heat to medium low, and let it simmer for a minimum one and a half to two hours. Then it will be done. Of course, right before serving, you can still season it. Um, but if you put it inside a pressure cooker, you can set it high pressure for approximately one, uh, half an hour will do. Half an hour for pressure cooker, one and a half hour to two hour for normal pork. Let's add a bit of black pepper inside. About half teaspoon. Right, so here's the inner pot of my pressure cooker. I'm going to add in the broth. As you can probably see here, the broth doesn't, it's not enough to cover uh, all the ingredients. Now this is something that we need to add. So I definitely have to add some more rice wine and also hot water and a bit light soya sauce to uh, at least make the broth, everything is submerged or about same level, uh, the ingredient about same level of the uh, broth. Right, now you see we have a higher well, broth level here. Everything is not submerged under the broth. And uh, let's add in about one teaspoon of salt also. To start with, we can still adjust to taste right before serving. Still 30 minutes under pressure, uh, high pressure, and we shall let it cook by itself. It's almost done. Just wait for the pressure cook to complete the work. One thing to take note about making a good braise is that do not make too much broth. The broth should be just nice to cover your, um, your ingredient. Especially when you are using pressure cooker, because pressure cooker, uh, as it cook, the water will not evaporate. Probably only less than 1% will evaporate. So it managed to keep the water level. So do not put too much broth. Uh, put the, the, uh, uh, the right amount of broth, which can just make sure that all the ingredients is submerged under the broth. Just nice. Then the broth will, be, will taste really good. Right? Sometimes a lot of people say they fail to make a good broth mainly because the broth is too much, it's too watery. Uh, and then another thing is if you are using normal uh, cooker or normal pot or normal wok to, uh, to cook this for like one and a half hour to two hours, then you, then you really need a larger amount of broth so that it will evaporate, it will reduce along the way. All right. It has, uh, the pressure has been fully released. Now I can open it up. Wow, super fragrant. My whole house is smell of uh, pork leg right now, braised pork leg. I know you can't see this. Let me show you. Can you see this? Look at this. 
See? This is the kind of consistency my uh, family prefer. If you don't like uh, this tender, then uh, you can actually shorten the cooking process a little bit. Adjust, adjust yourself. This is your home cooking. Decide for yourself. I hope you like my very simple video today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Alpha Facebook fan page, okay? Like and follow button, follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Alpha YouTube channel. Now, if you prefer some uh, thicker sauce, thickened sauce, what you can do is you can take out some of the broth there and add in a little, um, put it into a, another a separate uh, wok and add in some cornstarch solution. Then you get some thickened sauce, yeah? Enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.